American Stroke Association reports stroke is the fifth most common cause of death and it's a leading cause of disability. May is National Stroke Awareness Month and joining us to talk more about stroke is Rhapsody Kirkpatrick, Unity Point Health St. Luke's Hospital Stroke Coordinator and Advanced Practice Nurse. Thanks for joining us here today, Rhapsody. Thank you. And tell us first, what is a stroke? So a stroke occurs when there is a disruption of blood flow to the brain and causes tissue death um, or injury. And there are two different kinds of strokes. So there's a hemorrhagic stroke, which is when a blood vessel ruptures and then causes a bleed within the brain. And there's also an ischemic stroke, which is when there's a blockage of blood flow to the brain, which causes a tissue um, injury. Nothing anyone wants to deal with, but what causes a stroke? So a lot of times it's um, our risk factors that, that can cause strokes. So um, we have people who are smokers or not controlling their diabetes very well. We have people who um, have high blood pressure. Um, um, atrial fibrillation can cause a stroke if you're not taking your medications as you're supposed to. Um, people who are excessive drinkers um, are at higher risk of having stroke. And those are all things that you can modify, you can change by going to the doctor, getting put on medications like you're supposed to and taking them regularly. The other thing is um, diet and exercise. If you're not exercising regularly and you're eating things that are not great for you, you can put yourself at a higher risk of stroke. Um, and then we have things that are non-modifiable, so things that can cause a stroke are having higher risk factors, such as your age. The older we are, unfortunately, the higher risk we are of having a stroke. Um, the other thing is our gender. Women are more likely to have strokes than men. One in five women will have a stroke. About 55,000 more women will have a stroke than men will. Um, our nationality, our race, so African Americans are more likely to have a stroke than their counterparts. And then. Um, having um, issues with not controlling any of those um, risk factors can put you at a risk of having a stroke. So if you were to be having a stroke, what are some things people should do right away? Call 911, please don't drive. <laughs> Call 911, get the ambulance to you. Um, I think it's important though that we know what those signs and symptoms are. So we like to use the acronym um, Be Fast. So yes. B is mm -hmm. for balance, so on coordination, um, e is for eyes, so blurry vision or changes in, or changes in your vision. Face is for facial drooping, so if you notice one side of your face or the person you're with, so one side of their face is drooping. Um, having weakness or numbness or tingling to one side of the body, like your arm or your leg. Um, S is for speech, so slurred speech or mumbled speech or not able to um, get the words quite out. And then T is for time, and we have this saying called time loss is brain loss. So the longer it takes for you to get to the hospital, the worse your outcomes can be, the higher risk you have of having disabilities long term. So we have medications that can treat stroke potentially if you qualify. You have to have certain criteria to get those medications. And they're called IV thrombolytics. So one is called tenecteplase and the other one is called altaplase. And that goes in through an IV, but you have to get that medication within four and a half hours of your oh. symptoms starting. So if you don't get to the hospital in time, you it, then you yeah. can't get it, right. right. So the best thing to do is call 911. And those seconds matter. Absolutely, yeah. those All seconds right. absolutely matter. Well, Rhapsody, thanks for joining us here today. And Thank stay you. with TV9, we'll be right back.